Founded in 1871, SUNY Geneseo has become one of the nation's very best public liberal arts colleges. Retiring President Christopher C. Dahl's leadership has been central to the college's rise to prominence. He championed Geneseo's liberal arts mission to develop socially responsible citizens. Through his leadership, Geneseo has carved its own niche among the nation's premier public liberal arts colleges, gaining national stature and respect. His vision was to focus on the quality of education, not to increase the size of the institution, preserving the close relationships and richness of the liberal arts experience for students, faculty, and staff. His accomplishments are many and include $300 million in new construction and renovation, which has transformed teaching and learning on campus. These facilities enable faculty to prepare students to engage with and change the world. Dahl has also led Geneseo's historic campaign, Shaping Lives of Purpose. Donors have contributed more than $23 million, the greatest fundraising achievement in college history. Carol Long came to Geneseo in 2009 as provost and was appointed interim president on October 1, 2013. Previously, she served at Willamette University in Oregon as Dean of the College of Liberal Arts, Dean of the Graduate School of Education, and Chair of the Department of English. Chris has led us through such an important campaign in the Shaping Lives of Purpose campaign uh, that has contributed in so many ways to the campus and our success as an institution and our support of our students and faculty. I'm excited about the opportunity to be part of the transition over the next several years as we continue fund and friend raising to keep on that track of increased support for the college. I look forward to working with the Alumni Council, which has been organized nationally over the last couple of years, uh, helping to draw our alums and our friends into our conversation about the future of the college uh, and getting their support and help in thinking about our path forward. We need to be educating our students for a 21st century contribution to career and community. We will, of necessity, I think, grow into being a global institution in the next decade. More international partners, more collaboration. So we're part of the ACE Internationalization Lab. ACE is the American Council on Education. We'll be working with about 12 other institutions across the nation, uh, working towards very thorough integration of international content and international students into the life of the college. We will have more digital learning opportunities uh, woven into our face-to-face -face residential education. Um, how we do that uh, is, is going to be fun to discover, uh, but I think it doesn't, it doesn't run against our core values. Any educational institution, I think, has a mission to serve its students and the community in which it is situated, but I think a public liberal arts college has a particular mission to work with its surrounding community, to work towards civic engagement and civic education of its students. It's publicly supported by taxpayer dollars. It's an investment of the community uh, in the education of its young people. Uh, so I think you have a particular mission to take that civic responsibility very seriously. And so we're really, in so many ways, engaged in the economic health of the community. With our scientific capacity, we provide research to surrounding businesses. We do a lot of work with local businesses on uh, marketing, advertising. Our students will help small businesses work. We've been involved in Mount Morris down the road in the same way. We bring international students to campus. We bring visitors, conferences, other kinds of things to campus. We're working now on building a Finger Lakes Opera Company to do summer opera to help with tourism. We have an impact just through the people, students, faculty, staff that we bring to the area uh, who live live here who invest in the community in all kinds of ways. So in a very simple, direct fashion, the intellectual and human capacity of the institution contributes to the economic growth of the community. We're going to have wonderful leadership from Carol Long, who has an innovative and brilliant grasp of the issues facing higher education, and in her four years has really come to know and love this academic community. So I think the college's future is in good hands.